If a word is misspelled, how would we know the correct spelling? What resources do we use to look for words that also mean happy or sad? Hi, I'm Teacher Jana. Join me to a learning adventure in English for first quarter. Be ready with your ball pen and notebook to take notes about our lesson for today. In learning the meaning, synonym, antonym, and parts of speech of words, we use the dictionary and the thesaurus and online resources. Let's learn each of the resources on this video. The dictionary is a book with alphabetically arranged list of words in a language with definitions, pronunciations, and other information about the words. Here are the things in the dictionary that can help you in looking the meaning of word you are looking for. To easily find the word you are looking for, there are guide words that are found on top of the pages on the dictionary. Guide words help us know if the words we are looking for are on the page. The word on top left are the first entry word of the page and the word on the top right is the last entry word. Entry words are words in the dictionary written in alphabetical order and are written in bold. The definition explains the meaning of the word depending on the context the word is used. Some words have two or more meanings written and they are separated by numbers. Pronunciation is knowing how to say the word correctly. Syllables are used to show how the word is to be said or read. Part of speech is also seen in the dictionary. Let's have a full look of the different parts of the dictionary on this picture. Let's look at the sentences and answer the following questions. Anna cleaned the litter in the living room. Anna's pet gave birth to a litter of puppies. What is the meaning of the word litter on the first sentence? Correct! The word litter on the first sentence means waste or things scattered on the living room. How about the word litter on the second sentence? Yes, it means a lot of animals born together. Notice that the entry word litter have two different meanings based on how it was used in a sentence. Now that you know about the dictionary, let's talk about the sounds. Are you ready? It contains the words that are similar or synonym and opposite or antonym of the word you are looking for. Here is a clip from a printed thesaurus. This shows the words that have similar and opposite meaning of the word pretentious. Aside from the printed dictionary and thesaurus, you can learn the definition, synonyms, and antonyms of a word using the online platform. If you have internet access or mobile data, then you can just enter the word on the search engines such as Google. This is faster in looking up the definition and the synonym or antonym of words. You can use your Android phones or tablet if available. Look at the example the search engine used is Google. The search tab is where you type the word you want to look for the meaning. This also shows the pronunciation, parts of speech, and the synonyms of word. Great job for coming this far. You are almost done. Before we end our lesson, do the following activity. Let's read the instruction. For activity 1, let's study the picture. Here is a clip from a printed dictionary. We can see the two entry words, wood and wool. They are both nouns and have two different definitions depending on how it is used in the sentence. Base your answer from the picture. What part of speech is the word wool? Great! The answer is letter B. It is a noun. Red Riding Hood went into the woods. What is the meaning of the underlined word? Correct! The answer is letter A. Small forest. The boy sheared the wool of the sheep. What is the meaning of the underlined word? 
The answer is D. Amazing. The chairs are made out of wood. What word can replace the underlined phrase? Yes, the answer is letter C. Wooden. Because wooden can be another term for the phrase made out of wood. Which of the following guide words can you find the word wool? Yes, the answer is letter C. It can be found between the words wobble to wool. Good job! So, how many did you get from the activity? Great! I know that you can do the other activities in your learning activity sheet on your own. You can ask help from your parents or teacher. Before we end, let's remember the words of Stephen Wright. If a word in the dictionary were spelled, how would we know? Again, I'm Teacher Jana. Thank you for joining me on this journey in English for Bye!